Hello beautiful Virgo and welcome to your love reading for July 2020 with me Julie Poole. If this is your first time here, welcome. And for those of you coming back, thank you so much. I know I love you guys. And if this reading resonates for you, do please give it a like, a share and subscribe if you haven't. Those of you who don't know me, I'm Julie Poole. I'm a professional psychic intuitive, healer, hypnotherapist, Reiki master, author and a few other bits. I am taking bookings. If you would like to book in with me, the link to my website is below. It's an automated booking service. All the information is there. All right. With that being said, let's crack on with your love reading for July 2020. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgos and for cross-watching you have two coming out. You've got Action and Ownership. All right, let's bring them down. Okay, now this is for all relationships. So it can be if you're in a relationship, if you're single, romantic relationships, of course. But also, we've got two here as well. Um, also, um, for non-romantic relationships, this is relationships in general, all right, my darlings? Now, let's see what we've got from the angels for Virgo. See, everybody else has had one each of those, and Virgo being Virgo, and I know because I am one, we want two. <laughs> and you've got Raziel there with faith. What have we got from the tarot, please, for love for my Virgos? We have got a big chunk that just flew out, so we better take them. And oh, we've got another one there too that we want to have. And oh, another one here. Okay, that came with that. And that is coming in with that as well. All right, a lot going on. A lot going on, my beautiful Virgos. Okay, let's get them tidy so we can see what's going on a little bit. All right, now... No, 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 no. Okay. So your guidance for the month is these four here with Raziel. Archangel Raziel, let's start with him. This is all about faith, trust, going with the flow, belief, self-belief. Got all these beautiful sparkles here. So we're wanting you to have faith in love as we go into July. All right. More than anything, whatever is going on, have faith faith that is going to be really really important okay now they're giving you these two cards here action you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul and look at all of these colors this is all of the chakras coming in here together balance okay and it's coming in with ownership you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons Right. That's really important. Now, in terms of love and relationships, it really is about taking ownership. Now, ownership isn't blame and shame and pointing the finger. But what it is, is taking responsibility to be able to say hand on heart, OK, I messed up there and I'm sorry. And, you know, whether it's 50 50 or it's 100 percent them or you, it's taking ownership and we need to take action on this taking action to have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul now within that are all the chakras including the throat chakra which is you speaking your truth taking ownership and speaking your truth and that includes acknowledging your misdeeds and theirs. So if if your partner has really upset you, annoyed you, wound you up, to take ownership of your feelings and say, you know what, when you did that, it really affected me in this way. It really upset me because you're speaking your truth and you're taking ownership of your feelings okay misdeeds and accomplishments alike so misdeeds is when we've messed up and we do we're human we're fallible we make mistakes but we also got accomplishments seeing them both let's not go into i'm a disaster or you're a disaster and let's say everything's a lesson i'm learning i'm a work in progress and i'm doing my best and i'm going to express and take ownership of anything that is bothering me including being able to take full responsibility of where I have really feeling that I've messed up all right now to help balance that out we've got the just laugh card 
with take bite side steps beautiful beautiful energies okay the just love laughter is the best medicine if things have been a bit challenging which they have for several months then laughter is the best medicine getting into that childlike energy of play and laughter and to help you move forward because we are moving forward in July in love. We need to go slow and steady. The little penguins here taking little baby steps. You know, they, they've only got little feet. They haven't got big long legs to be able to do strides. They've got to just shuffle themselves forward. And that's really very good advice. You know, there are times for us to be, take big strides forward. And there are times for us to take bite-sized steps. And because things are all new and opening up quite gently and shifting things in our relationships gradually then we want to go slow and steady wins the race okay slow and steady wins the race and having faith that you will get there and that the relationship will get there now for my single virgos taking ownership of you and taking action having the courage to take action to express yourself and your soul if you like somebody if you told them do they know are you being the secret admirer far in the distance are you having the courage to let them know i really like you i have feelings for you i fancy you do you want to go out for a drink do you want to go for a coffee and um, can we chat Taking ownership of if I'm holding back, why am I holding back? Take it by side steps, you know, you're not asking them to marry you, you're asking them out for a coffee. Go slow and steady, but you can do it, male or female, all right? We can take action and move things forward and have faith that if we're single and we're wanting love, that that love can come in, but we do need to take some action on it. All right. Now, a lot of information coming through from the tarot. A lot. All right. You've got the page of pentacles with the three of swords, with the magician and the ace of swords. So this is kind of where we've been. Now, this is where we are coming into and this is where we're going. All right. This is what they're telling me. All right. So lots of pentacles here with the page, the six and the three. Pentacles in love readings are about stability, security, foundation, feeling grounded, feeling solid. All right. Now, you had an offer, you had an opportunity for that and it went horribly wrong with that three of swords. OK, because that's what it's about. I had my heart broken. It hurt. It hurt. I'm just going to adjust the camera because it's annoying me. I'm a Virgo. I can't help it. It's not straight. <laughs> All right. Now, it went wrong. And because it went wrong, it has left a bad taste in your mouth. But it's time for this to be changed. OK, taking action, taking ownership, having a laugh, taking bite steps forward, bite sized steps forward to heal this and clear this. So if this is in your current relationship, you're coupled up, it has been a challenging time for loads of couples, you know? You've been thrown together 24 seven, many of you, and you're ready to rip each other's throats out. It's time for it to heal. It's time to move it forward, okay? Now, for those of you single who've had your hearts broken, and we all have, there's very, very few people that have never had their heart broken. It's part of our growth and our strength and our lessons. And we learn what we don't want by experiencing yucky things. And that helps us to determine what we do want. So it's time for that to heal now because it's coming in with a magician and with the Ace of Swords. So the magician, this is you, in your alchemy, Alchemy is transmuting something, transforming it, turning water into wine, turning metal into gold. We are transmuting and transforming that old hurt energy. And we're doing it by stepping into the magician energy. And that enables us then to have this new beginning, the Ace of Swords, a brand new beginning in terms of the way you think and view love. So those of you who are in a couple, who it's been going through a hard time, it's time to transform that now, to bring it back into balance, taking ownership for this is my bit, this is your bit, and we're going to sort it out, and we're going to move forward, and we're going to transmute it, because I have faith that this relationship can work, it just needs a little bit of 
mm, ownership and talking and sorting out. And it's about what I decide. The magician is me stepping into my magician energy to say, what do I truly want? Do I want to fix this? Do I want to strengthen it? Do I want to get it back into a good place? Because if I do, I can achieve it. I can manifest it. Bit of effort, bit of work, and I can have that new beginning. All right. It's there for you if you want it. Equally, if you decide, because you're the one deciding, if you decide I don't want this, then having faith that you can go it alone and that is what is right for you. You'll know, you'll know whether it is so broken that it's not worth fixing and it's better to let it go and you're taking bite steps forward on your own or whether this is the relationship that has gone through the mill as many many have and we're going to do the work and we're going to fix it but we're going to transform either way that hurt is going and we're coming into a stronger place now that brings us into the strength and the king of wands two very very powerful cards the strength is all about you have the strength to be able to tame emotions, anger, anguish, to be able to overcome it and come back into your calm, powerful, empowered self. And with it being rooted down with the King of Wands, again, power and the similar colours in these cards. This is, you know, as you see, the lion is wearing the crown here. Well, it's actually, it's actually the um, the chain that she's holding but I'm feeling and I'm being shown the lion is wearing a crown because he's allowed himself to be tamed through love love tames all and it empowers us and strengthens us and builds us and grows us and the king is looking over at the strength card and saying I have the strength I have the power to achieve anything I want to and I absolutely can. And whether that is to achieve getting past old hurts, old pains, to say I'm ready to love again for those of you single. And I am creating a new love and I'm having a fresh start because I have the power and I have the strength. Or whether it's those of you coupled saying I have the power and strength to go it single and go it alone. I've got everything I need. However you interpret this. OK, because this is a general read. So some of you are fixing a relationship. Some of you are leaving a relationship and some of you singles are moving into a relationship. So whichever one applies to you. And we're finishing off with the six of pentacles and the three of pentacles. This is balance. This is more than enough. I've got more than enough flowing to me. And those of you in relationships, this is love flowing to you, appreciation, recognition, value, your partner showing you how much they value you and giving you so much love and affection and attention. And that's beautiful. Now, for those of you single, you are allowing friends, family and yourself to give to you. And that is balancing you. And it's coming in with the Three of Pentacles, which is the collaboration card. This is the teamwork card. So sometimes it takes more than one head. You know, two heads are better than one. Sometimes by allowing assistance from close friends, family, maybe a therapist, to be able to help you to achieve that sense of worth and value and recognition. Sometimes talking it through with a good friend will really help you to see your value or the value of the relationship that you already have or to see the value of allowing yourself to open up to a new love. So we're allowing that collaboration. We're allowing our friends, um, some of them, the trusted ones, the ones that you trust their advice. You know, there are some friends, I would never listen to their advice. I love them dearly, but they just, you know, no, I wouldn't listen to their advice. Other friends, yes, wow, they're amazing. I will totally listen to them. So who are you listening to? Why, what, when? Allowing that balance to bring you back to faith and bring you back to belief. All right, my beautiful Virgos, that's what I have for you for love for July. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for joining me. You take care, sending you all my love. Bye-bye.